the nice features of the SmartScope Viewer software is that you can do measurement with your SmartScope. Let's go ahead and click up here on our measurement icon and you see we have a, a, a dialog box that, that opens up over here on this side. If you go down to this mode and click that drop down, you'll see that you can measure angles, we can measure circles, ellipse, line, a rectangle, triangle, or we could do a three dot radius. For our purposes today, we're going to measure a line. So let's go ahead and come out of that for the moment. What you need to do first is we need to calibrate our smart scope um, for measurement. And the way that you do that is you get a ruler and you line up the millimeter marks on your smart scope and get that into focus. Now I'm using the smart scope 500 for our purpose today. You could use the traditional smart scope or the smart scope 500. Either one the process is the same. With the smart scope 500 I have to put line our ruler up at an angle so that I can fit these two uh, markers within the same window. And so this is just at an angle. This marker is going in this direction, and this marker is going in this direction. And what you'll want to do is once you get that once you get that in focus, go ahead and click measurement. You see it open up. Now I've already selected the uh, size of my computer screen, and so I want to come up here and click calibrate. And so. What we want to do is we want to go from the left side of this marker to the left side of this marker. What you'll do is you'll right click. So you're going to right click and drag from there up to the left side of that marker. And so once you get it in place, you release and now you're calibrated. You're telling it this is one millimeter. You can choose to do different units here. Um, you can do millimeters or inches and you can calibrate to two, two millimeters or five millimeters. Um, you can do different ones but what we're doing today we go ahead and set that and we told it this is one millimeter. So we can check that by coming down and click measure and come down right click again come up into the ed left edge of that one more time and release exactly one millimeter. Now I have mine set with a yellow font and a yellow line but you can change that by coming down here to our color palette and just changing that color right click and dragging up and release and now our line is green or blue or what have you. I prefer the yellow because you can generally see it pretty well. So now we're calibrated and well before we come out of this though let's go ahead and let's say I wanted to I, I viewed these lines but I made a mistake on that one so I want to remove it. Well I can click delete and then that line is gone or if I want to remove all of them and just start over I can click clear. Now our calibrate is still in effect. We, when we click clear it does not change our calibration at all. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go back out of this. We're going to move our ruler out of the way and we're going to put our sample there. Be careful not to move your smart scope or change the focus um, because it will, uh, it does affect um, the measurement. I'm going to adjust our focus just a little bit just to make sure that we get a good edge on that. And what we're looking at here is cow hair and so I've got it lined up and so I'm going to come in here. I've already done our calibration so I'm going to right click and move across and once I get that there I'm going to release and I want to go ahead and take a snapshot by clicking that button right there. So I've taken a snapshot of that image. And so I've taken a picture of a cow hair. And we want to compare that to rabbit hair. So we're going to come out again. We're going to 
come in here, we're going to get our slide of our rabbit hair. We're going to put our rabbit hair underneath the scope here. And we're going to choose one at random. Click measure. And right here, I'm just going to take that and go straight across right there. And we see that that rabbit hair is two millimeters. I'm going to go ahead and take a snapshot of that again. And I'm going to take and we can come out of this. Now the nice thing about our smart scope is that once we've taken these images, we can now come in and say, okay, let me view that image. There's, the, there's our rabbit hair we just took. And then here is our cow hair that we took earlier. We'll come up here to compare and we see our cow hair is there on the left. And I'm going to drag our rabbit hair image that we just took up there on the right so we can take a look at these and compare the difference in the width of these two. So you can see that uh, this is uh, to, to measure within the smart scope is, is very functional. It's pretty easy to do. Um, so if you have questions or need anything, as always, don't hesitate to give us a call at 866-722-2051 or email us at support at smartschoolsystems.com.